In this video, we're talking about how to solve a proportion problem when we have fractions within fractions. So in the past, we've learned how to solve a proportion problem where we have something like 3 fourths is equal to x over 8. And when we have a proportion like this, we call this a proportion where we have two fractions set equal to each other. When we need to solve for the variable in a proportion like this one, all we do is cross multiply like this. And when we do 3 times 8, we get 24. When we do 4 times x, we get 4x. And we set those two things equal to each other. And that gets rid of the fraction on the left-hand side and the fraction on the right-hand side and turns it into a simple equation. Then we just divide both sides by 4 and we'd see that x was equal to 6. Well, when we have fractions inside of fractions, nothing changes. This is still just a proportion problem and we can cross multiply like this. So when we do that, we get 2 thirds times 1 fifth. So 2 thirds times 1 fifth on the left hand side. And we set that equal to whatever we get when we cross multiply the other way. So x times 5 eighths. So we just get 5 eighths x. Now remember when we multiply fractions, we just want to multiply our numerators together to get the new numerator and our denominators together to get the new denominator. So 2 times 1 gives us 2. 3 times 5 gives us 15. So we get 2 over 15 is equal to 5 over 8 times x. Now we try to solve for x. So if we multiply this right hand side by 8 over 5, the reciprocal of 5 eighths, we're going to get the eighths in the numerator and denominator to cancel, and we're going to get the fives in the numerator and denominator to cancel, leaving us with just x. But of course, when we multiply one side by 8 over 5, we also have to multiply the other side by 8 over 5 in order to keep the equation balanced. So then if we just reverse the order here, instead of this equal to x, we're going to flip it around the other way and say x is equal to, and here we just have fraction multiplication again, so we multiply our numerators and we multiply our denominators. 8 times 2 gives us 16. 5 times 15 gives us 75. So x equals 16 over 75 is our final answer. 16 over 75 is the value of x that makes this proportion true. So you can solve it that way, but you can also solve it one other way. So we did this way here, but we're going to do a second way to show you an alternative method if you like it better. So here we realize with this alternative method, that we have 2 thirds over x over 1, right? x is the same as x over 1. Now we have a fraction over a fraction and a fraction over a fraction. Well, we know from doing fraction division that doing fraction division is really just about fraction multiplication. All we do is take the reciprocal of the denominator, and instead of dividing 2 thirds by x over 1, we multiply 2 thirds by the reciprocal of this denominator, 1 over x. So we could do it this way too. We could say 2 thirds times 1 over x, so instead of dividing by x over 1, we flipped x over 1 upside down, got 1 over x, and did multiplication instead of division. And we could do the same thing on the right hand side. So we could do 5 eighths, instead of divided by, we do multiplied by, and then instead of 1 fifth, we get the reciprocal and we do 5 over 1. Now we have fraction multiplication on both sides and we can say 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times x is 3x, equal to 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 1 is 8. Now if we multiply both sides by 3x to get 3x out of that denominator, we're going to get 3x and 3x to cancel over here and we'll be left with 2 is equal to 3 times 25 is 75, so we get 75 over 8 times x. And now if we just multiply both sides by 8 over 75, and 8 over 75, then we'll get the 75 and the 75 to cancel, and the 8 and the 8 to cancel, leaving us with just x on the right hand side. So we're going to get x is equal to 8 times 2 is 16, and then we have 75 here in the denominator, and notice that we got the same answer, x is equal to 75. So both of these work, the cross multiplication is probably easier, it was fewer steps, so you can always just do this cross multiplication like a regular proportion problem and get to the answer here, or you can do this fraction division, turn it into fraction multiplication, and solve for x like you normally would. Either way, that's how you solve a proportion problem when you have fractions inside of fractions.